Well, that was a tough way to start the year. Uh, we had a nice eight-hour trip down here today, and uh, a lot of optimism. Uh, we expected a great game tonight at Chestnut Hill, uh, and got off to a good start, uh, playing a good team. It's in talented players up top, and really in the first half, we we kind of held to our game plan. The guys stayed disciplined. We we, we stayed compact in our space, and uh, had several chances on the counterattack. Uh, got a goal, uh, went up one nothing, and uh, unfortunately, we missed it three or four good other chances to get through on them. When the play was there, we just missed that final pass. The execution, the execution just need to be better. But in any case, we go into one, ha halftime one nothing, and then second half we come out, we want to play a similar way, knowing that we have the lead. And fortunately, the wheels came off a little bit. Uh, they got three free kick goals, a penalty kick, uh, free kick on top of the box, and then the, the header off the restart. Uh, the guys were kind of doing their job, working hard in the run of play, making it difficult for them. I thought we had a, a great performance from our freshman goalie, Andrew Hammersley. And unfortunately, when you have three free kick goals, in, that's college soccer. You, you control the run of play, uh, defend it well. But uh, they made some big plays in the end, and we ended up chasing the game. Uh, fatigued a little bit. Got to use some freshmen. We got three or four freshmen on the field. Got some experience. So a good uh, learning experience for them. Uh, but we have quick 48 hour turnaround we're playing Saturday against another good team Holy Family and uh, we just got to clean up a few of the mistakes when the ball's dead on the restarts an important part of the college game and, and then we'll uh, continue to move forward offensively when we make passes we, we do well but when we're not accurate uh, we just create problems for ourselves so hoping for better on Saturday.